Today we got another love don't judge for y'all. I'm a feminine man, but I'm not gay. My name is Tiante. I am 23. I am an influencer. I'm a recording artist. And I'm just open. Bro, oh, that guy. No. People think I'm gay because I'm more feminine than masculine. This right here is just moisturizer. Like, I, no, no, I just, I just hate the fact that he's shaping it to like, be like, oh, I'm just more feminine than like other guys. You're a bitch! Like, you're way more feminine. Stop acting like, oh, you're just more feminine. Because we've seen them TikTok niggas that paint their nails, right? You're more feminine than a man. Uh, you've seen them niggas that are like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that do skincare routines and shit like that. Take their sweet time doing skin. Like, you're more feminine than men. You see, you could say that. You put on makeup, act like a girl, talk like a girl, take pictures like a girl, and you just say, I'm more feminine than the average guy? Like, shut up, I already pre-washed my face with my cleanser. And you know, I gotta do some shaving and stuff because I grow facial hair. So I don't wear makeup on my skin. Like I don't do foundation or any of that. The only thing I would really do is eyebrows. That's it, just filling me in. I'll do a selfie check to make sure all of the moisturizer is blended in. We gotta have a little glow. You know? When I first got I don't think it's top, crazy the to, content to I was making it was on the more funny side. But after a while, it kind of got washed out. And that's when I got more into like my looks more. I was just getting into dating as well. And I was like, okay, let me post that I have a girlfriend. It got like 5 million likes. And I was like, what the world? Like, all because I said I have a girlfriend? Everybody's shocked that I have a girlfriend? Like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, I thought this was normal. Stop, nigga, you know it's not normal. Stop fucking lying, first of all, right? And second of all, what is wrong with you? You talk about, what's wrong with y'all? I thought this was fit. Right. Until it wasn't. All of these people started reaching out to me. People wanted to interview me. The comments were going crazy. It was just crazy. She did get a lot of hate. They was like, oh my God, why are you dating the family guy? And all of the masculine guys were. So she taps your ass, you tap her ass? Okay, bro. Were attacking her and stuff like that. Like, you're a disgrace to society. I'm going on a blind date today, and I'm kind of nervous to see if she likes feminine guys or not. I would describe myself as very much feminine like, energy and masculine energy. I like to. There's dive nothing into masculine what about I you today. Since it's two shiny things right here, yeah, I'm gonna wear it. these jorts and this bedazzled belt. I probably wear these shoes I have on or these. I feel like it's too hot for boots, but it's never too hot for these kind though. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wear this. A lot of people for question day, my last relationship, my last long-term relationship, because obviously I'm not a masculine Daddy. guy. And the typical way of dating around the world is masculine man and a feminine woman. And that's how it's gotta be. <laughs> Wait, that bro, come on, please, one more time. I'm not normal. I don't wanna be normal. Normal is not me and I'm not normal. I'm I thought you said it was normal earlier. Like, yes, a blind date. Y'all gotta pray for me. The comments that people make about my sexuality is that my sexuality isn't real. My sexuality isn't important. People say I'm not a real man. All because I'm feminine and I date girls. Like, it shouldn't be like that. I'm still a real man, regardless. Like, you can't What makes you a man? Please. Just, because I'm feminine. just tell me this what makes you says a man. A woman will not date you, LOL. A woman has dated me, LOL. Somebody said, he seemed curious. I mean, I understand y'all saying he's attracted to women, but he's feminine. This is unreal. He's wearing makeup. He's wearing high tank top shirts. He might as well get a boyfriend. This one says, you straight? And someone replied to him, no, he just like to pretend he is LOL. My boy is gay as F. And somebody else responded. Wait, wait, wait. Is Can y'all ask him though, like directly, are you attracted to men at all? Just check it. Lost, that's what he is. This one says, slay for real, FR. No, what's good? Early on, the comments would get to me and make me depressed and be like, is this who I really am? And later on, I really had to figure out this is who I am, like, and I can't change it. I used to respond a lot, but now I don't. My mom taught me that. She was like, don't respond to those people. Like, they're just trolls, they're internet people. Like, at this point, it doesn't make me feel any type of way. I just see the comment and that's it. I'm numb to it. I invited my aunt over today so me and her can chat about me going on my blind date today. 
She's probably gonna give me some pointers or something. She's supported me my whole life because she's been around me my whole life. He just was different. And when you're different, people talk about you. Not necessarily bullied, but just being judged. And you're basically being judged on who you are. And people don't understand who you are, they talk. So, what do you think about my outfit for today? Stand up. I got my own style, so. Yeah, you know how I am about your style. I don't got no, yeah. It's just Perfect. you wouldn't wear it. Yeah, I wouldn't wear it. <laughs> Look at these pictures. I've always been a fan of stripes. I feel like high school for me was a breeze through. By the way, um, let me tell y'all, right, chat? Like, I think this is a W aunt. Is she encouraging bad behavior? Yes. But at least, like, she's supporting her nephew. Or niece. You get me? So I feel like it's a W. I, maybe she tried to change him. She couldn't. So she was like, okay, I'm going to just be there for him. Which is, I think, amazing. Ninth and 11th and 12th grade. But 10th grade, it was this one guy. I mean, he wasn't a bully. He just was very annoying. People have their opinions. And they form their opinions before they even know you'll meet you. Of course, so I killed them with So it's kind of like high school, too. Not necessarily say you bully, but... You being judged for who you are. It's okay they un if they don't understand, and it's okay if they just want to be a at the end of the day. But you gotta get to know people before you judge them. And in that case, there's always gonna be people like that, even on the internet. Just like are. at the end of the day, everybody's entitled to their opinion. But sometimes it's better to be quiet. Yeah. yeah. I, I think my mom would disown me. At the end of the day, you are who you are. You don't owe nobody no explanation. You have people that supposed to be close to you, but they talk about you. And it just, to me, it makes you go harder because that's just who you are. That's who you were born to be. So I'm going to my first blind date ever and we're meeting up at the studio today. Oh, sh No, you lying. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous to be honest. I was like, let me try a blind dating instead of regular. Dating. That's really good. Like You I know it's crazy, right? If I was like a feminine nigga, right? And I was into women. And I would see other feminine niggas. And other feminine niggas are gay. I would think like, wait, am I into men? Literally. I bro, I'll be very surprised if you hadn't thought about that before. I think in the end it'll bring you out of your shell more. I'm not dating anyone right now at the moment, but I'm open to dating. And I'm kind of scared because I don't know what to, to expect because I haven't dated in such a long time. What I look for in a partner is great qualities like strong communicator, a person that likes to love and gets loved on. I like somebody to match my fly. A beautiful woman, strong, confident, thank that you, knows thank how to you, hold sir. her own. Fox, see low Fox. It is getting kind of late. Appreciate and you, know. She was supposed to be here at like four something. Uh, nigga got built on. I just got a test from her right now. She said she um not gonna be able to make it because of the weather. But you know what? It's cool. I mean, more dates will come. I'm kind of disappointed that my blind date didn't show up today, but. I'm still more than happy to be at the studio working on my music because we got to get this single out. I'm about to record the first. Um, I mean, wait, but the thing is, the thing, bro, uh, the thing is, right, with this shit, like, it was a blind date. So did the person even know that it was a feminine man or not? First to my song, it's a vibe. Riding in the Chevy and I'm fine. It's the <laughs> a lot of when the f they hurt this heat red up in my pretty wanna be me but don't be skin like caramel butter down they wanna leave me rap like a bitch act like a bitch talk like a bitch dress like a bitch have makeup like a bitch low key hard all right bro. To the people that judge me, I feel like you should take a deeper look into your soul and find yourself. Because I feel like My the soul? people that judge, they don't know who they are. Everyone is different, so just let everyone... I understand you're different, right? But like, my nigga, like, you don't have to take, like, you don't, you don't have to, like, let your intrusive thoughts take over. Like, I feel like this would be intrusive thoughts. Like, if I said, like... What if I was into girls, but I acted like a girl myself? 
Like that's some, like you don't have to let that take over you, bro. Like actually. Date who they want to date. Dating is a spectrum. There are different people out there. Everyone deserves love. And that's how it should be. I, I, I agree. I think everybody deserves um, love 100%. But it's just like, you know what I'm saying?